mouse in here. Can you catch it? See it? See the mouse? Can you catch that mouse? I need you to catch it, girl. She got it. This is China. And I think she's pregnant again. Ugh. Chores. We're out again. Here. Oh man, we're going to hear all day. Come on. Okay. We got too many roosters. We've got one, two, three, four. I think we got four roosters in with the hens, the laying hens. They're getting picked on quite a bit. We don't mind it to a certain extent, but we don't like them being rough or anything. When they start losing their feathers and stuff on top or in the back, we kind of like to thin them out a little bit. There's really no reason to have that many roosters at one time. And sometimes they just get so mean. Oh, there's an egg. How fresh that is. Mm. Oh. Nice little stripe. Very dirty though. You gonna get down? You better get down a little bit. grounding out a couple places so we can find out where it's grounding out and fix the problems a little bit easier too. Our electric charger is right inside the coop here. This is where we have our connection to the electric charger and our grounding rod. So I'm going to test this part first. This should be at full power. And then as I go around to the other end, it should be a little bit weaker. If not, then it's great. But we'll I'm just hooking it on here, have the grounding rod in moistened soil. It's kind of jumping all over the place right now. I don't know if you can see it. So it's about average seven, 6.9. Which is funny, I just put the grounding rod in and the point two. I don't know what that means. If the ground is being electrified or what. Now I just went down a little ways from where I started to here and it's already at. Well, it was jumping around a lot. It's really hitting hard. See, I got 6.9 again. I cleaned some of the weeds out. 
snapping still. The way the hill is, it kind of touches the grass. Everything's electrified except for the all white strands and the black strand. So anything touching the other strands is gonna... You almost need a little post in between them where it's kind of sagging a little bit more to pull it up off the ground. Because look, if I pulled it up, it's higher than before. Let's go test on a little bit further. I'm back here, kind of behind the jungle garden that we haven't got to yet. Testing it here. I'm having to take a bucket of water with me because our ground is so dry right now. We have not had any rain for a while. And then I really see how I need to clean out the fence on the other side. Inside the fence is not too bad, but the outside it's kind of been overgrown, so it needs to be cleaned up because it's touching the fence. It's, it's almost climbing up the fence. Here's the reading. It's not bad for... Oh, this doesn't shock me. I can't get that weed. It's the same. Here's the reading all the way over here. There's a lot of weeds that we need to clean out on the other side of the fence, but at least it's not shorting out too bad. I'm really surprised, actually. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm almost in the far corner. This is right where we kind of got our jungle cleared out pretty good. About the same. It's good. Okay, last spot. This is where we kind of end our lane. We had the electric fence all the way around and then it's attached to the old chicken coop. So it's not electrifying the whole fence, but this is the end of the electric poly wire fence. So this hopefully it will be the full mount too. Yep. So it is not shorting out anywhere. Too much anyways, 6.9. So we got 6.9 all the way around. So that's what we wanna see. Um, I don't know if that's full charge. I'll have to research on see what units this is in. I don't know. I'll have to ask Jake on that. Jake, I don't know. Hope you got something out of that. It's kind of fun to play with a new toy, hang out with the chickens and the ducks. Well, I have an excuse just to do nothing for a while. <laughs>